Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the uh, end of the month love readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Virgo. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the remaining of the month going into April in regards to love and romance. All right, Virgos, your first card here is the moon. A lot of uncertainty. Confusion for some. Um, the obstacle here is the seven of wands. So there is definitely a need to stand your ground in this situation. I feel that suppressing whatever it is that you're feeling or that you're currently experiencing may actually hinder uh, this connection or this relationship that you're dealing with. Now, you also have here the five of swords. This isn't your past and passing. So I feel that a lot of the issues regarding the relationship or the people that you're currently dealing in your life with has a lot to do with ego and pride. Um, unfortunately, sometimes that could be a cause for misunderstandings. I feel that if you're currently experiencing like uh, a lot of arguments in regards to the relationship or with your partner, uh, I think that you guys are running off of ego. So instead of being more compassionate towards each other or trying to understand or even agreeing to disagree, I feel that it's more of feeling like if they disagree, it's because they're going against you or vice versa. Uh, and this could be because it's been something that it's been, you know, ongoing or uh, constantly occurring now you do have here the queen of swords so for some of you guys you may be dealing with air energy aquarius gemini libra uh for others of you this could just symbolize the need to cut or the 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 need to cl uh, think clearly with your head instead of following your heart at this point in time now you also do have here the emperor for some you may be dealing with an aries energy but this is what's constantly on your mind or in the current position with on your mind and there is a need for structure. There's a need of, again, with the moon card, there's like uncertainty. I feel that for some of you guys, you may be dealing with the person that is very unsure of what they want, or they will show you, uh, as an example, that they're very interested in you and they're communicating and everything. And then all of a sudden they kind of stop communicating. And the reason for that is because there's lack of stability, uh, or on their part, lack of decision. Uh, they don't really know what it is that they want. Uh, so for some of you guys, you may be dealing with this energy. And what Spirit is telling you is that you need to put your cards on the table, Virgo. You need to be transparent and honest um, in what you want. So at this point, you guys need to have a conversation about where, where do we stand? Uh, where is this going? And is it going anywhere? And if it's not then you need to let me know now so then I can make the choice to either walk away or continue dealing with your uncertainty. Uh, but you got to be transparent and you got to be honest. Uh, th being honest will definitely uh, make those that are very uncertain or that are unsure of their feelings towards you will make them kind of push them run for the hills, which is exactly what you want because you don't want to waste your time, Virgo. Having to make a decision. The two of pentacles here. Um, again, balance. There's a lot of imbalance in this connection or in this relationship. And there's a need uh, to find that balance. And you start with what is it that you want for yourself? And go from there. Are they putting effort? Are they wanting to make or turn this casual dating into something long term if that's what you want? And if you don't see it going that way, then you need to express to them what it is exactly that you want or that you're expecting for the future. And if they're not on the same page or if they can't get on the same page, then it's time for you to walk away, uh, Virgo. Now, your advice card here is the Ten of Cups. So the advice here is what they're telling you is be completely honest with what you want. If you're dealing with the person and you have a tendency of accepting whatever it is that they're willing to give you as an example if they're like only willing to pursue this whenever it's convenient for them and you're like okay hopefully they'll change their mind you need to stop self-sacrificing yourself Virgo and you need to learn to put yourself first um, only then will you be able to find the stability or the emotional fulfillment that you're looking for so again it's about not 
bringing down your expectations or not bringing down what you're willing to deal with just to make it more comfortable for them. Because in the long run, you're the one that's going to be left feeling like you don't know what this is. Now, your next card here is the Ten of Swords. So there's two tens. There's major transition, um, major transitions that are happening, endings that are happening. Like I said, if you need to speak your mind and be completely honest with what you're wanting or how you want to pursue this moving forward, this relationship, even if it comes at a cost of them telling you, hey, you know what, Virgo, I'm not ready for a relationship, and it comes to its conclusion, what they're telling you is do not uh, try to hold on to that relationship or that connection. It's hindering you. It's going to affect you. So the best thing to do is to embrace even if it comes with an ending because ultimately that's going to push you forward towards something that is going to be more emotionally fulfilling for you or someone that is more ideal for you. Now you do have here the four of cups. So again, a lot of uncertainty. They're not sure what they feel for you or they're not sure if they want to be in a serious relationship. For those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, you may start to feel like at this point you're getting tired of working it out or you're getting tired of putting that effort. And again, what they're saying is stop being the one to carry the relationship. It takes two people to make it work. So you got to put you got to learn to put yourself first if the other person is the selfish one. It could be vice versa because it is a general reading. But uh, ultimately what the message what they're trying to relay here in this message is don't bring your expectations or don't bring what you're expecting from a relationship. Don't bring it down just to accommodate another person that could be just temporary. Um, know exactly what it is that you want and don't settle for anything less. Your next card here is the Six of Pentacles. Um, okay, so again, like I said, the message is very clear here. What they're telling you is that it takes uh, two people to make a relationship work. If they're not putting the effort and they're not putting the energy to fix the relationship or to meet you halfway, then it's time for you to walk away from that. Stop hoping or wishing that they would change or that they're going to... Uh, decide one day to be committed to you especially for those of you guys that have been in a relationship for over four years if the person at this point is not changing what they're telling you is don't fight the change or whatever is coming to surface there's a re there's a reason for that and the reason is for you to understand that you need to be honest with yourself virgo i hope you guys enjoyed this reading like share and comment and we'll see each other soon bye